Welcome to the weekly Ransomware Roundup, your weekly summary about all things ransomware, data protection, data security, backup and DR, storage, and cloud. As always, the links for these news stories can be found in the description below. Without further ado, this is the Roundup for the second week of May 2022. The Five Eyes Alliance of Cybersecurity Authorities from the US, UK, Australia, New Zealand and Canada has issued a warning to managed service providers, or MSPs, about cyber attacks that may have globally cascading effects. According to the advisory, threat actors can use a vulnerable MSP to gain initial access into multiple victim networks. That report further notes that 90% of MSPs have seen an increase in cyber attacks since the pandemic started. Researchers have identified Iranian cyber spy group Charming Kitten as being behind several attacks targeting U.S. organizations. They are specifically connected to two cyber attacks targeting an unnamed U.S. philanthropic organization and a U.S. local government in January and March of this year. In these attacks, the illicit group used a web shell on a compromised exchange server to collect system information and set up a communication tunnel with the command and control server. A post-exploitation framework IceApple is targeting global organizations that use Microsoft Exchange servers or any Internet Information Services web applications. The malware can leverage the .NET framework and assemblies to target victims. Researchers say that IceApple shows persistence and long-running objectives aimed at intelligence collection, such as credential harvesting, file and directory deletion, and data exfiltration. A report by the ITRC published that the number of data breaches this quarter has increased 14% from last year. We've compiled a comprehensive guide to help you learn about the cyber threats in 2022 and how to prepare for them. Link in the description. Pro-Russian hacktivists known as KillNet attempted distributed denial-of-service attacks against crucial Italian government sites, including ministry, parliament, and army websites, using the slow HTTP technique. This method is based on sending one HTTP request at a time to web servers, but sets the request at a very slow transmission rate, requiring the server to allocate resources to wait for the remaining data. Too many accumulated requests overwhelm the servers until it can no longer take further requests. Black Basta, a relatively new ransomware gang, swiftly rose to prominence in recent weeks after it caused massive breaches to organizations in a short span of time. Researchers found that after gaining admin rights, the ransomware removes shadow copies, disables Windows recovery and repair, and reboots the PC in safe mode, later encrypting files, creating a registry entry, and demanding ransom. Lastly, the promo of the week. Get a 42TB purpose-built, physically isolated and detachable air gap node for your mission-critical Veeam backups, snapshots and replicas that are offline by default and accessible only when the node is in use, just for $6,995. That's it for this weekly roundup. Stay safe. See you next week.